Wait, please. Yeah, there's somebody after me. I'm sorry? There's somebody after me. That was the frantic call made by Shannon Gilbert out in Long Island. She went missing. There was a search for her. And as they searched for Shannon Gilbert, they discovered a lot of bodies. And it began with the Gilgo Four. There they are, Maureen Barnes, Melissa Bartholomew, Megan Waterman, Amber Lynn Costello. The Gilgo Four, their accused killer. Here he is, the Long Island serial killer. He's accused, presumed innocent. We'll keep an eye on what's happening there. Um, but now we've got more information tonight related to Shannon Gilbert because this guy has not been charged with her murder. But if they were looking for Shannon in the same area where they discovered all these other bodies that he has been charged with. Today, the attorney representing the family held a, a press conference and witness affidavit number one was released and provides a connection between Shannon Gilbert and the accused Long Island serial killer. Take a listen. This large man approached my taxi to enter it. His words to me seemed arrogant. He entered into the rear of my taxi. He said to me words to the effect that we're going for a long ride in the woods and indicated that we had to pick up a girl who was in a house across the street from the bar. He argued with me. He said words to the effect of, are you being a smart beep? As we argued, he said to me that he wanted to kill me if I would just give him a reason to. He insisted he wanted to kill me. I heard him click a gun. Recently, I saw the accused Long Island serial killer on TV. He was the large man I encountered in the incident described above, and he was the large man I saw in the incident below. My dispatcher sent me to pick up a passenger at the Sayville Motor Lodge on Sunrise Highway. I was told by my dispatcher that the prospective passenger had asked for a female driver and that she had locked herself in a bathroom in a room at the motel. Then a very large man came out. He tried to block his face with his arms. Then a girl ran out. She was crying and shaking. The girl never told me her name. I saw her on TV where she was identified as Shannon Gilbert. I am certain that girl was Shannon Gilbert. This happened prior to Shannon Gilbert disappearing on another night, but a connection between her and the accused Long Island serial killer. Let's bring back in our think tank, Daryl Cohen, Molly Palmer, Meg Strickler. What do you think about this? Mm. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Well, I don't know if I believe it. I hate to say Meg's it. Meg's not believing it. No. Why not? Because why are we coming up now? That Shannon Gilbert, when it happened, was all over the news, all over everything. And she doesn't meant, she doesn't go to the police. There's no police report then of having seen a large man. Or any of this storyline, all of a sudden we hear it now. So you don't like the timing because Correct. it wasn't as big a story, though. The Gilgo Four didn't feature Shannon because she was never found. But she was in the, it was out there and it was in the news and they were putting out signs and such. Okay, let me get to the second affidavit from an unnamed person. It's a woman. You ready? And this connects the accused Long Island serial killer to Karen Vergata, another one of the victims. <clears throat> Again, this is a, a female um, a a aff affidavit. I am a former swinger. I am 54 years old. A swinger is a person who partners with another person. Then that partnership has sex with the other partners or groups of partners. I formed a partnership with an NYPD policeman in or around 1996. His name is known to me and to Mr. Ray. Mr. Ray is the family attorney for Shannon Gilbert and other victims. I call him R.W. Either the, the accused Long Island serial killer or his wife, you hear that, or his wife, posted contact information for them in a house in Massapequa Park to engage there in swinger sex in 1996. I and RW chose to go there 
to the accused Long Island serial killer's home in February 1996. R.W. picked up a woman I believe to be Karen Vergata. R.W. wished to leave. I went with him to his car. We left from the back door. R.W. complained that he lost his belt. He went back to the house to retrieve it. I saw the face of the woman I believe to be Karen up against a window at the house. She looked scared. I had a sense that she was calling for help. I told R.W. of this. This woman I believe to be Karen suddenly ran outside naked and ran about by the garage. R.W. had gone to the back of the house to look for his belt but he was back in the car. R.W. told me not to worry about her, that she was okay. They were only playing a game. We left without her. Let's bring back in the think tank. You believe this one? When was this affidavit given? How much time elapsed between this young lady 1996. Uh-huh. 2023. Oh, my memory's so much better now after 20, 27 20, years. 20, uh, my memory's so much better. And I came out early on. You're not I, buying it. I wouldn't even rent it, not even for a minute. Agreed. Agreed. And here's the main issue with these new affidavits. From whom do they come? Not the official investigation. A former swinger. Well, yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm not doubting that the accused might have been a former swinger. I mean, that is that is what it is. But these affidavits and their connection to these murders are tenuous because they come from the victim's family's attorney, not the prosecuting attorney. And right. after these affidavits were revealed during a press conference, the district attorney said, look, you can't trust somebody who's not part of our investigative team. We're the ones conducting this case, this investigation. And I will it say come this, though. Us. In defense of Johnny Ray, he was working this case a lot harder than the original uh, investigators in the case. Well, that's going to be a problem when the case gets to trial. That's a whole separate issue. But the yeah. reality is, is that Mr. Johnny Ray, and I, I'll give my respects to him as well, is not part of the official investigation of this case. Yeah. And so these, you know, they're coming from the perspective of a civil lawyer who's representing the families. I, I say a swinger belongs with the Mets or the Yankees or the Braves of swinging a bat. I don't buy this, not at all. Way too long, not from the right investigative agency, Johnny Ray is a small ray it, on this if one. If you believe it, <laughs> they just left them? The last sentence you had highlighted says, and we left. They left. That doesn't make any sense. They left sense. the three of them there, because one of them's a cop. He said everything's all going to be all right. Yeah, so okay. the swinger with the cop said, okay, the cop said it's okay, so I'm okay, let's go. You know. That's no. not protecting and serving. No, if you're at a swinger's not. party at a as a cop. No, but it's a cop who doesn't want all this to come out. Now, let me ask you this. According to this affidavit, the accused Long Island serial killer's wife now, I was, was there, to ask about that. was at the house. That I believe. What, what happens now? Does the DA bring her in for questioning? She, Absolutely. She knew a whole bunch of stuff. She may well, not Does have... the DA bring her in for questioning yes. and can she take the fifth? Yeah, she yes. has marital privilege. Yes. Yes. I don't know that she can. No, the privilege is broken if everybody's swinging. <laughs> I don't think that's how marriage works. If everybody's works. swinging, it's broken. If swinging, no, fast no, but all demand. these things that are happening, these are communications, <laughs> private communications between husband and wife. This is a swinger's party. No, Let's let the DA's <laughs> office bring her in, question her, see what, if anything, she has to say, and then throw it out. But All she, right. she does know some information. If you're her lawyer, do you let her talk? Absolutely not. No way. Less. Never. Less, right. than, you don't, less than never. Will her lawyer come out and deny that she was at the swinging party? The lawyer ought to come out, KYDBMS. Keep his or her big mouth shut.